Hey guys, it's Ginger. Happy Saturday. It is Iron Bowl Saturday. Roll Tide, y'all. Um, but that's not why I'm here. Although I may talk about that too. So I'm, um, I'm here because it is time for my thankful 30 day number 24 video. So today I'm coming at you for, um, I guess a couple of things that I'm thankful for. Some may be a little silly, but that's okay because I'm still thankful for them anyway. Um, hey, look, I'm a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> Made that wrong. Uh, sorry, I'm kind of in a silly mood, I guess. Um, so one thing I'm thankful for is I'm thankful that it's only 50 something degrees and that right now my hands are freezing because I'm having hot flash. Do you see how rosy these cheeks are? But my hands are cold, so when I put my hands up here, it feels so very good. Oh yes, it's like sticking my face in a freezer. So that's a plus. Um, <laughs> I'm thankful that I made it to almost 40 before the hot flashes kicked in, so it could be worse. There's a girl that I work with and she's been having hot flashes since her early 20s. She's almost 30. I think she just turned 29 this year. So yeah, it could be a lot, lot worse. But um, I'm thankful that I was able to see my brother and his family last night. That's, I guess this is gonna be my main thing I'm thankful for today, what this video should really be about. Um, because just due to busy schedules and um, I live kind of on the outskirts of Meridian going this way and they live on the outskirts of Meridian going that way and um, you know and uh, I don't have kids and they they of course have my two nephews so they're just busy with their activities and their school and uh, of course they both work full-time things like that and so don't get to see them quite as often as I would like um, and everything so I just really enjoy being able to see both of them last night you know my nephews of course my my brother and my sister-in-law as well and got to chit chat with them a little bit and catch up and see how they're doing and ask about my sister-in-law's parents because you know I see uh, her parents sometimes when we go to like the uh, boys um, soccer games or t-ball or little league games things like that and they're such sweet sweet people and you know always uh, you know uh, make sure to have a conversation and, and speak and everything and they've always been really nice so always have enjoyed you know talking with them visiting with them at the games and stuff so I made sure to ask how they were doing and um her mom just had a birthday recently and she said they were doing really good and um it was so funny because um my youngest nephew Briggs he will be five uh, next month and um he was wearing a little t-shirt that had a turkey on it and I think when I walked in the first thing I did was ask him what was on his shirt and he said a turkey and so I think after that about three other people throughout the night asked him what was on his shirt he was probably getting tired of it or thinking gosh these people are dumb they don't know what a turkey is so it was kind of funny to me uh, I don't know if anybody else really noticed but I, I made a comment later I was like I think everybody that has seen him has asked him what is on his shirt and um but then later uh his mom my sister-in-law was like hey Briggs what does a turkey say and so he was over there and he started like flapping his arms like wings you know and he's cock-a-doodle-doo <laughs> and we all died it was hilarious of course you know and so we did it a couple times because you know like one time my dad wasn't in the room so he didn't hear it and so we were all laughing and then of course one of my stepsister's kids was there and he's a little bit older so he like told him a little bit later he's like turkey doesn't say that a turkey says gobble gobble so Briggs come in there to his mom he's like mom he said a turkey says gobble gobble he doesn't say cock a doodle doo <laughs> so he corrected him or whatever so I guess he learned his lesson for the night but uh it was just funny to us all of course because I mean we knew it was wrong but it was still just funny to hear him say it um so anyway it, it just it kind of made me think of when when his older brother Brody um who is Brody's nine he was probably gosh I don't know he was really young like three or four years old and um or maybe even somewhere he's probably three and you know you're at that toddler age and you're going through uh you know what sound does a duck make you know quack quack and what sound does you know a pig make oink oink you know you go through all these things but when he got to the elephant his dad had told him to say roll tide and it was so hilarious so and of course my sister-in-law is a mississippi state fan so she hated it obviously but it was hilarious so i had him on video doing that for the longest time of course it was on an old cell phone so i no longer have the video but it was it was so funny um 
But yeah, so I'm super thankful that I was able to uh, go to my dad's house and spend time with, uh, you know, my brother and his family and, of course, my stepsister. Actually, both of my stepsisters and uh, the majority of their kids and family were there, too. Um, one of my stepsister's husbands, uh, he and his daughter, they actually, I think, went to Texas because that's where he's from. So they weren't there. They're typically there, but um, they went to see his dad in Texas. But the majority of the, I guess, regular crew that's typically there Friday after Thanksgiving to do our dinner, you know, um, we're such an extended family that they've always done it at my dad's house, you know, the Friday after Thanksgiving to kind of give everybody a chance to go to mom's, dad's, or whoever else's house on Thanksgiving Day and then do it a day late, you know, so that's kind of our tradition. But it turned out really, really well. Um, we had a good time. Food was really good, so, you know. Nice visit, and I'm very thankful for that. So, I am headed to Walmart. I have to, it's about 11.30, and I'm going to get a couple grocery items, and, um, wow, I really should have went the other way now that I'm sitting here thinking about this. But anyway, um, because <laughs> I need to run by my bank, I have to go pay Justin's truck note. Um, I didn't get out to do it yesterday on my lunch break, because I really had forgot, to be totally honest. So a little probably somewhat illegal u-turn but that's okay because i'm out in the middle of nowhere um but anyway so yeah i'm gonna go run to the bank go pay his truck note then i'm gonna go to walmart and get a couple grocery items that only need really a few things we do have a freezer full of deer meat and of course he's got the other deer um currently at the uh place being processed so we'll have to pick that up probably first part of this coming week and uh so we'll have plenty of venison so i'm gonna have to start looking up some recipes i want to make some type of like uh soup or stew i've never made um and i guess there's not really any big difference than just regular you know stew because then they've got it made into like tenderized steak so i could just you know chop it into smaller pieces and use it as stew meat um but i may just look and see what i can find if there's anything different that i want to try out or whatever but anyhow um yeah that's my day i'm gonna go get a few groceries and then get back home in time to watch the iron bowl it comes on at 2 30. um i did send a message to a friend who ordered um a lady that used to work with me ordered some of the paparazzi jewelry it came in today or actually excuse me it came in yesterday um and you know she shipped to me and to um the local people you know so that i can just kind of pass out so she only had to send one box and um so it got here really quick because she sent it out on wednesday and it got here on friday and thursday of course is a holiday so the mail didn't run so um of course i guess it's always still kind of moving behind the scenes so they say it just doesn't get delivered to your house on the holiday but um i wore these earrings these are i think they're called i don't know how well you can see but they're tree of life earrings and sorry yeah they're bronze and they're really lightweight. I don't know exactly what they're made out of. Um, if they are a plastic, then they're super strong, sturdy plastic, but I think they're just a really lightweight metal of some kind. Um, but they're really light, so like it doesn't feel like it's heavy on my ear, and that's what I love about it because I was a little concerned because my ears get a little sensitive anyway if I wear earrings for too long, so I don't wear earrings a lot. I like to wear them because I like the way they look but I like usually only wear them sometimes to church or if I go out to dinner and I'm gonna be out for you know a couple hours then I can go home or like a Christmas party or something like that I don't ever wear them hardly to work I like the way they look and then I already had the ring this is of course silver and I don't tend to mix metals and colors too much but I mean they're both the tree of life so I figured it's not really gonna matter um, I'm not really trying to impress anybody too much today so it is what it is as they say but um, I like everything. Of course, I've given her some ideas, picked out the items. Um, I, you know, earned some hostess rewards. I got six items um, free that I got to pick out, and she actually added an extra item because I ended up with seven items and a tasty little treat. She sent a little like Ghirardelli chocolate and caramel thing. So, and she sent a little package for the all the ladies she sent out to um, uh, with their, you know, items as well. So. 
was a lot of fun and I'm, I haven't really thoroughly looked at all of my items but I just took a quick glance and they're all really really pretty and I think I'm really gonna you know enjoy wearing them and I'll probably do another video separately um, later on and maybe show the individual pieces so yeah um, so tune in later to see that but I'm gonna go for now hope you guys are still enjoying your holiday weekend and have a great and safe Saturday and don't forget to roll tide bye guys